Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and welcome to the No Buy. I'm excited. Okay, so <laughs> the No Buy has officially begun. We have everything we need. We have all the tools. We have everything ready. I want to ask one favor of you, and that is if you, whether you're doing a no buy or a low buy, you're doing it for art supplies or you're doing it for something else, whether you're watching this video now or five years from now, I want you to know a couple things. One, you can start anytime you want to. It can be the 27th of February. It doesn't have to be the first of the year. I am doing this with the first of the year, but you don't have to. If you're not ready now and you want to start in a month or two, start in a month or two. January 1st is arbitrary. It could be August 5th. It's what day you feel ready if you want to embark on this journey and this path and this adventure. So <laughs> that's the first thing. The second thing is the favor I want to ask you. I want you to tell someone in your life that you're doing this. So it could be someone that shares the same living space as you under the same roof, spouse, partner, roommate, friend, sibling, parent. It could be somebody that you talk with most often, a best friend, a sibling, um, who you text the most, who you phone the most, who you take shopping with you, who sees you shopping. I want you to tell them that you're doing this. Don't keep it to yourself. In telling someone else, you will have a second layer of motivation and accountability, like an accountability partner. I am here for you, but I also want someone else that's with you, that maybe if you only shop online and you do it via your phone or your computer, if you're sitting next to them on the sofa and they lean over to see what you're looking at, I want them to know that you're doing a no-buy. And maybe give them some prompts or some things they can say to you in a gentle way or a stern way, depending on what works for you and what you prefer, to sort of nudge you out of it because this isn't going to be a thing where you flip a switch and all of a sudden you're done looking at art supplies for your entire year. This this isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. And doing a no buy for one year is sort of a band-aid, but we need a permanent solution. So sort of easing in you're still going to be looking at stuff. I'm still looking at stuff, but I've told my husband. My husband knows. My children know. And if he sees me looking at something longer than five minutes, he knows to say, what you doing? How's your no-buy going? Don't torture yourself, sweetheart. I love you. Let's go outside. That's what he, that's what I've asked him to tell me, and that's what he says. So I want you, please, please, please tell someone in your life and they can be stern. You can have them, you know, say, hey, if you catch me looking at the thing I'm not allowed to look at because it's just too torturous right now. Um, and maybe it's fine for this month. I don't know. I imagine this is going to get harder before it gets easier. <laughs> maybe you have them, you know, remove the phone from your hands and replace it with a book. Maybe it needs to be a little bit more... <laughs> you know, <laughs> aggressive to get the point across in the beginning. But unsubscribe, delete apps, remove yourself from all the lists, make your list of rules, put it where you can see it. Tell people in your life and have them help you hold you accountable. No, it's not their job, but you know, tell someone you care about, they care about you, and then offer to help them maybe with something they're working on for the new year. Maybe you can assist them in one of their resolutions or something. So, I am going to, <laughs> this is from my motivation video. These are printable. 
I'm going to cut some of these. I'm going to stick some of these in some of my books. I'm going to stick some of these in my monitor, some of these in my phone case. I want some of these, you know, just to remind me. We're going to start small. Now, I also want to talk about... There we go. Annie's in. I want to talk about the videos I have planned for 2022. Now, in all honesty, I am not going to have something to talk about or discuss every single week this year. I, If I tried to do that, I think there would be like a lot of repetition and it would just sound more like I'm kind of harping and nagging and I don't want to waste your time, but I do want to be here for you. So this is what I've decided to do. I want to take a look at uh, January 1st. So this is my welcome to the no buy. I am going to do two to three videos a month. It's going to be Sundays. So the <laughs> for this month, because there are five Sundays and most months only have four, the third to second Sunday is going to be a no buy in depth video. And for this video, I'm going to be discussing one small aspect and diving deeper into it. Whether it is environmental impact, whether it is how am I going to figure out a good budget for myself once I can start purchasing again? Have I come to any in-depth realizations about myself when I purchase? Have I hit an epiphany? That is what these videos are going to be for. It's just going to be one aspect where I talk a little bit more in depth for about 10 minutes. Just some aspect and it's probably going to be art related. So if you're watching these for something else, for a different topic, but you're interested in no buys, I hope you still get some value out of that. The last Sunday of the month is going to be my accountability video. I did two practice videos. The one the end of November and one the end of December. And the last Sunday of the month, I'm going to do the review. I'm going to talk about what tempted me, how I talked myself out of purchasing that. I'm going to talk about my mood. I'm going to talk about how much money I've saved. I'm going to show you the empties in my jar of the supplies I have used up and what I have planned for myself coming up. That's my accountability video. So for this month, there will be three. For February, there will only be two, an in-depth video and an accountability video. Same for March. Same for April. We get to May, there's going to be three. I'm going to have sort of a, hey, four months have gone by. <laughs> what have I learned in four months? Here's an in-depth conversation I want to have about something that I want to talk deeper about. Here's my accountability for the month of May. So it's not going to be a video every single week. I just don't think I'm going to have enough. But I also think that only one video a month isn't enough. I want to keep talking about this. I think this is very, very important that I just, I set an example for you guys. I set an example for myself. And I set an example for the people in my house, my kids, and I want to continue to talk about this and be there for you. So I'm going to link all the videos in the description box. There is a Pinterest board. If you are just stuck on an item and you can't stop thinking about it and maybe digitally linking it on Pinterest sort of gets you up over that wanting to purchase sort of groove. There's that that's also available. Make sure you've inventoried what you have. I can't tell you how this has already helped me in evaluating everything. This is what I'm going to be going back to. Welcome to the no buy. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.